What is up YouTube, IDM here, and welcome back to another video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to make glyph style icons on iOS 15. Now, unfortunately with stock iOS, you can't actually have a transparent background uh, to the app icon. The whole app icon still has to be there. So the trick around this is to basically blend a wallpaper into it. Now I'm gonna show you the process and how you can do this. And uh, it's not too hard, but it, it is a little technical in comparison to just making custom icons. There's a couple extra steps, but it's totally possible and it has a really cool look um, for a non-jailbroken iPhone for the, for the icons to look like a glyph. So to begin this, uh, what I like to do is I actually like to put my home screen into edit mode and then just go ahead and get rid of the docked icons. So we're gonna go ahead and take those out of the dock. And then I like to go to a completely blank page. So a page where there's no icons and you don't have your icons in the dock. Just in case you want glyph icons in the dock, you can do that. So screenshot the completely blank page. Now we can just click on done. I'm just gonna leave my home screen all messed up here. And um, the application that I like to use is called uh, transparent app icons as you can see there I'll leave the app store link for this down in the description and as you can see to get started you just click add screenshot and we'll add the one that I just did here and as you can see we can begin creating the icons now when we select on one of these you can see that you can use this to make invisible icons essentially so if you wanted you know an icon to look like there's nothing there so if you want a blank one blank roll you can do that with this uh, application but you can also use it to customize and create glyphs so the theme I'm using is called Kobu and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just use this one and I'm gonna copy it so I copied this image from this theme and then I'm gonna go ahead and just do select icon do custom and then paste image and it allows you to crop it I'm just gonna click done and as you can see that's what it's gonna look like once I save the image. So I'm gonna click on save. So it has saved the image to my photos. So if we go into photos here, you can see there is the image. So now when I go into shortcuts and I create this, this icon, let me delete this one here real quick. I create this custom icon, it'll look like it's a glyph. So we'll do add action, scripting, open app, choose the app that was Safari that I chose. So we'll do Safari, click the settings icon upper right, add to home screen, choose photo, choose the one we just created, clear the name to make it look more clean and click add. And now as you will see, when I move this to the blank page, you can see that it looks like a glyph icon. It looks like the background is transparent and that is the trick to get transparent icons onto iOS 15. Like I said, it's not it's not actually possible to have that background fully transparent. So this is the workaround. Now I know some people are gonna say, well, it looks really ugly when you change pages. Yes, that is true. You're gonna notice that, but I mean, it's still a cool looking setup for anyone that's really into, you know, making their device look custom. Uh, that's how you can do it. So now what we can do is we can choose, uh, I don't know, another icon. Let's do the phone. So again, I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this image and I'll ju I'm just gonna do another one. Uh, just for example, so we'll click done on that one. We could do one for the dock now. So same thing, customize, uh, select icon, custom, paste. We can click, oh, I did not mean to do that. We'll do select icon, custom, paste. And now without touching the screen, we'll just click done. And then we can save that image and then rinse and repeat. So now when we go into shortcuts, we can click done close this out and now actually when you've created these icons you don't need to keep the shortcuts there you can just delete them it'll still open the application so now we'll go ahead and add another one uh, and this one is for the phone so we'll just do phone just like that settings button add to home screen choose the photo choose that one clear the name you could leave the name too if you want it but I like to keep it really clean looking and now we have this one. So what we can do is move this into the dock. Now it's not gonna look right because it's not centered, but if I move uh, these other icons, so I push it over to the left slot where it should be, you'll see that it actually blends with the dock as well. So that's you know a cool way to blend the icons. And that's basically how you can make these glyph style icons on iOS 15. I wanted to show you guys this application because this is the fastest 
app that I have found to pull off this effect. I think that the way this app works is really smooth and quite cool. And uh, it'll allow you to get through your homepage really quickly to make it look super custom. I'll probably go ahead and finish out these icons here off camera and have it as the thumbnail of the video. Uh, so you guys can get an idea of what the effect is once you have done all of these. But still, very cool. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. App link in the description. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, throw a thumbs up. That helps me out a lot here at the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this in the future, don't forget to click that subscribe button. This has been IDM, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.